challenge. This is task nine, the final task in the Try Hack Me Linux Strength Training Room. So you already know what time it is with me. I'm already labbed up, ready to go. So let's jump over there. Task nine, as you can see, same Strength Training Room, Linux Strength Training Room, just getting our reps in the day. And the first question is you got to go to the home share chat log directly directory and read the first chat log name LPNQ. All right, once you're in the machine, you got to log in there with Sarah's credentials. You should have them from the previous videos, or if you're following along in the strength training room, you can get it out one of the tasks. So once you're in there, you're going to just change directory to slash home share chat logs. And what they want you to do is open the file LPNQ. This file is just a discussion between Sarah and Lucy. If you read through this, Sarah gets a hold of some answers about the database that she needs access to because it's completely down. So she's trying to get access to a backup database copy. And Lucy, I think Lucy, yeah, she's snitching on a couple of people here, but she basically said that Samir was the key in this one. Alright, once I got the information that Samir was the next key, I just changed, I don't know if you have to do it, I just change it back to the you know the home directory right here. I just change it back there. And then I just use that grep command. And I searched using with this IRL switch. Alright after it's done running you can see it pulls up that file in the chat logs already. That has that LPNQ. That was this for August 13, 2020. That was that chat log. We got chat logs for PQMR and KFMP to get more information about this chat log that went on to get us more answers. The next true question is what is Samir's SSH password? So let's just open these files because we now know that Samir is involved and now we're just going to go through these files here. So to open the next file, I just change the directory back over there and cat that PQMR. And here you get some more information where Sarah goes back and forth with Samir in this one. With this, you kind of want to start keeping notes and everything. So definitely want to start keeping notes of the directories that are being called out and everything like that. And the password and all of that kind of information. Okay, so the next thing that we would do is open the next file, that KFMP file. And again, this is just more conversation between Sarah and Michael. And as we can see, he gets the he gives Samir's password right here. All right, for this next question, what is the password for the SQL database backup copy? First of all, we need to know what they're talking about when they're saying the SQL database backup copy. And then we can get the password for it. So if you jump over here, I just have opened one of the chat logs that we were looking through previously. This was the chat log between Sarah and Michael. So we'll go through this one. This is Sarah saying, Michael, I've been trying to access that. SQL database backup copy that was made today, but she couldn't get in there with the information from Samir. So basically, he's just saying here that you have to log in to this target machine as Samir with his password, go to that directory and find that config file, and that config file will have another directory with the location of a word list. That will have the password. Hopefully, all that made sense. So, I'm already logged in as Samir right here. And I've already went into that SQL conf directory. And right here, you can see this is the 50 meg file. That's the file name, JKPN. Now, to see the contents of this file, since it's encrypted, it's an encrypted file. You have to use nano, JKPN, and then it gives you some information here. It is the SQL auto backup file, a version number, 
Then it says a word list directory, just like Michael mentioned. What you want to do is copy that. So edit, copy. Control X out of there. And what you want to do is use the base64 tool to decode that hash that you just copied. So if you do echo, then pipe base64, then dash D. As you can see, once you do that, it, it, it'll spit out the directory right here. And that's the directory that you have to go to to get to the word list. That contains the password. So we'll just change directory over there. Now, once you're in this directory, it says once you find the config file and consequently the word list directory, you go to that directory where we're at. One of those word lists must contain the password it used for the testing. All I remember is that the password began with EBQ. So all I did was to get this password, I just used grep right here and search for that keyword. And it gave me all of those files in this directory that have EBQ in it. So the next thing that I did was just use cat and open all of them. And I matched up, I only looked at the ones that had six, eight, ten. I only looked up the EBQ letters. I only tried the EBQ letters in this answer that had 11 characters. So for example, cat, and then I grabbed for EBQ because we know that password has that, those letters in it. And right there, EBQ addle right there. So I tried these other ones, they didn't they didn't answer, and then when I tried this one, I answered. I knew not to try that because I knew the answer was but so long. You'll see what I mean as you're going through the room. So now to get the SSH password of the user James, now you have to refer back to that those chat logs again and go to the home slash share slash SQL directory. And instead of using this password to open that file that has that date of today, we have the correct password to use. You have to go on to Samir's under Samir. So right here you would go CD slash home slash share SQL. So once you navigate to there and you list all the files, since I've already been through this. These files are me right here. So all you would see would be these two files. So we're going to have to use GPG. So decrypt this file. So let's see if it should let me do it here. All right. So it did let me. Let me try to decrypt it with the EBQ battle. EBQ A T T L E. And then it says it's encrypted already with one phrase. Do I want to overwrite that to a new file or overwrite that file? Yes. I just want to overwrite it. Keeps the same name. So now I just unzip that file. Unzip. It's asking me to replace that archive file. Yes. So it's asking me to do all of them. I'm going to do all. And then what you would get right there is the unzip file after you unzip it right here. And if you try to open it, it'll tell you it's a directory. So then you change directory like it says in the instructions. And then right there, this is where you're going to get the SSH password for the user James. Because right here, because right when you're in this directory, you would use grep again, dash I, RL, right? That's that skill to search for keywords. James. It's only out of these two. I'm going to guess it's load employees. Not I'm going to guess I know because I've done it. 
load employees dot dump and at the bottom it'll show James right there is your answer James and then this would be the all right now the next one is SSH as James and change the user to root SSH as James so now you're in as James so for this one you didn't have to do nothing but change the user to root. So all you have to do that is just S U D O S U password for James. We already got that. And we're in as root. The final question is what is the root flag? And the hint here is to look everywhere. So to look everywhere, you would just do a LS dash A. You're as root looking through all of this, right? So what I pulled up here was the hint was to check everywhere. So Basically, I'm checking everywhere in this directory. Now, what I'm looking for is a flag, and instead of check everywhere, I said, well, who am I? I'm root. Well, if I'm at the root level, there's going to be another directory that I can get into, which is the root directory. And now if I do a print working directory, now I'm in here. And then I just did a ls here. And there's a text file here. So if you open that, there's the flag. And there's a little message saying, now you are Linux stronger. And that's the flag that I put in right there. And then you complete the room. And that's it. Again, I appreciate y'all hanging with me. And I hope that anybody that's tapped in has found some kind of value in everything by going through this room as well. Also, please make sure to comment. Like, subscribe, all of that, share the video. And for the next videos, I'll be dropping some CCNA labs and some CCMP labs using Packet Tracer and GNS3. And I'll catch y'all on that next video. Holla.